And as we approach our historic 125th church anniversary, we are celebrating our rich history this month also. Many of our very own members are trailblazers in their fields. Today, we bring you the story of Deacon Floyd Burns, the first black firefighter in the Little Rock Fire Department. My name is Floyd Burns. I was the first African American that was hired to the city of Little Rock for the Little Rock Fire Department. I got hired April 14, 1969. Uh, Gregory Summers, Fire Chief of Little Rock Fire Department. I was hired into the fire department uh, April 1st, 1983. I met Captain Burns soon thereafter. He was a captain on, on Engine 9 on Shackleford Road. I took the test for the police department. And the, at that time, they had all these rules that you had to be a certain height or you had to be a certain weight. And, and uh, they told me I was too short. And the, the um, personnel director told me that they had just had a new direct city board director named Charles Bussey that was hired. And he was going to make sure that they had black firefighters. So he encouraged me to take the test. And... Uh, once I took the test and passed the test, he told me, he said, if you don't uh, like the fire department, he said, you can always quit. He said, but I guarantee you, once you start, you will enjoy it. And the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> the first day that I walked to the station was the first day that I ever put foot in the fire station. And the NACP sent me there, so I wouldn't be there long, so they wasn't worried about me. And also, the assistant chief at the time put a winter uniform on me in the summer. Thought that was one of the things that would run me away, but I continue to stay. Him being hired in 1969 as a first African-American firefighter for the city of Little Rock, uh, and just some of the stories that he shared with me during that process, some of the things that he went through as a person and just paving the way for not only firefighters of African-American descent to come into the organization, uh, but uh, for me to be the fire chief of the Little Rock Fire Department. Uh, after I was there on like eight or nine months, I just decided that I just couldn't take it anymore. So uh, anytime we was up drinking coffee or eating lunch or supper or whatever, it didn't make no difference what the conversation was about. It ended up on black America. I ran into one of the uh, friends of mine that was on the police department, asked me how, how everything was going, and I told him that I was getting ready to quit. He told me, he said, Burns, do not quit. He said, that's what they want you to do. He said, wait until you get your probation period in, and then things would make a 90, 90 degree turnaround. So I took his word, and that's the best thing I ever happened to me. But after that, small things happened. I just ignored it. And then sooner or later, they started coming to me, asking me different questions about my family and whatever. And it pinned out real great. I remember many days when um, he would tell the story of how they treated him, um, old uniforms. Uh, using racial slurs in the firehouse, uh, those things that he really didn't have to put up with. But he and his wife both decided that this was a path that he had to go down. And him going through that uh, paved the way for many African-American firefighters to come into the organization. To get a promotion, you had to be hired, at least you had at least five years on the department and they dropped it to three years and I had just got my third year in so I was able to take the, the engineer's test 
and got promoted to engineer in four years. And then I stayed an engineer for 12 years and I went to, took the promotion, promotion exam and made captain in 83. Went to Station 9 on Shackford Road and stayed there five years. And then I went into the deputy training office and I stayed there for 13 years until I retired. We continue to pay tribute to his contributions to the organization. Celebrating our history makers, celebrating our firsts.